What's good y'all, welcome back to Kid Taj. We're gonna be doing a full prediction of the NBA Finals. In this video, I'm gonna talk about which games I think, you know, which team is gonna win, who's gonna win the whole series, what's gonna happen, who's gonna be the MVP, all that stuff. Um, and we're gonna start with game one. Now, of course, as we all know, Golden State Warriors at home, you know, they have the home court advantage, so they're gonna be at home for games one and two, five and seven. So in these first two games, I have the Golden State Warriors winning just the first one out of those first two. I think that, you know, in, in game one, the Golden State Warriors are always really good. They almost never lose game one. So, you know, at home, you got that momentum. You're ready for the finals. You you have all this rest. I think they're going to go all out. I think they're going to get a, you know, a consider a win by a considerable margin. I think they're going to take that game one by 10 or 15 points. I think you're going to see a ton of threes go up and in. I just think it's going to be one of those games where the Cavs just can't stay with them. We're going to get a big game out of LeBron, but it's just not going to be enough. Now in game two, I don't expect the Warriors to be as hot as they were in game one, but I do think that they're going to bring it. I think we're going to see a close game and down the stretch, the Cavs are going to take game two because I don't think the Cavs are going to get down 2-0 in this series like they did last year. Um, they, they're playing so good right now. I just feel like the mentality is so much different. If you lose that game one, you're going to come back super strong in game two. The Cavs seem like that type of team that they're not about to lose two games in a row. I don't see that happen. I don't think LeBron's going to let that happen um, to his team. So after two games, I have a 1-1 tie. You go back to Cleveland, and I feel like these two games are going to be split. I think that I'll say that the Warriors are going to win game three, and the Cavs are going to win game four. You could also flip those. You know, actually change that. I think the Cavs are going to win the third game. The Warriors are going to win the fourth game. So in game three, the Cavs are coming home for the first time. I think they're going to be really hot, just like the Warriors were in game one of this hypothetical series. I think the Cavs are going to take that game three, and I think the Warriors are going to get into a 2-1 hole, and it's going to be, you know, a little bit tough. They have to win that next game on the road, which I do believe they will. So a 2-2 series tie. I predict this to be a really good series. Um, and tied 2-2 going back to Golden State. And then after that, I know it's not that interesting, but I have Golden State winning games five and six and taking the series in six. Now, why don't I have this series going in seven? It's not because I think that, you know, Golden State's significantly better than Cleveland in the playoffs. I think that they're going to win by a lot. It's going to be a really close series, but I think that in the end, if it goes to a seven games, I think the Cavs would win it in seven games. I think that LeBron in a game seven is just is too dangerous. You can't go up against that guy and win in that game seven situation. I don't really see that happening. So if it goes seven, I would pick the Cavs to win in seven. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to go seven because in game five, the Warriors, I think they're going to take a big win. And then in game six, I think they're going to close out because they're, they have three wins. They got all those players. They're so loaded. They have no reason to lose these, these games, you know, five and six or, or the series at all. Um, I want the Cavs to win. Yeah. I mean, these are like my two least favorite teams in the league. Um, but if I had to pick one, I'd, I would pick the Cavs. I, I mean, like, to, to root for, I guess. Um, but I think the Warriors are going to win. It's really close. You know, I wouldn't be surprised at all if the Cavs won. But I do think that, you know, the impact this has on Kevin Durant's legacy, if they lose, would be huge. And I would just be, man, we, we're definitely going to see him back in Golden State next year. But it would be great for me. It would be just a perfect ending for Kevin Durant to be terrible in the finals and they lose because of him. That would make my make like it would make up for everything almost, almost because the playoffs were really boring. I didn't like watching the boring playoffs. So it wouldn't make up for all that, but it would be a great finish. Um, that's my preferred finish to this series. Um, now I'm gonna talk about which players I think are gonna show out. It's going to be really hard to hold Kyrie Irving and LeBron James down for the Cleveland Cavaliers. I and mean, we've seen it last year um, and LeBron James every year in the finals. You know he brings it. The last two years, he's been fantastic. And I think we're just going to see that again. LeBron is going to be in full attack mode. He's going to be slashing, being aggressive, looking for shooters. And Kyrie Irving is going to be doing the same thing. He's going to try to score as many as he can on the inside, take his opponent every time. And we know what Kyrie did last year. We know what LeBron did last year. These guys are going to be ready. We're going to get big performances out of Kyrie Irving and LeBron James. It's almost guaranteed. If one of them has an off series, I don't think they have a chance, especially LeBron. If LeBron has these bad games, there's no way. I mean, they'll lose in four or five if that happens. But really, you really think LeBron's going to have bad games? I, I doubt it. You know, he's, he's made for these moments. Um... Now, for Kyrie Irving, you know, he's a scorer. So one day his shot might not be falling. And we saw that last year, not in that, not like later in the series, because, you know, in those games four or not, maybe not four, I think it was five, six, and seven, 
or maybe maybe started in game four, but the end of the series, Kyrie Irving was super hot. I mean, he was on fire to end the series. He didn't start off very well. They lost those first two games and he wasn't really giving them much in that offensive end, but he really did a whole lot to end the series. They're going to need those guys for the whole series. They're going to need big games out of them throughout if they want to win this series. But we can almost count on those two guys having a real good series. But the guy we can't count on just yet is Kevin Love. Golden State Warriors did a great job of taking Kevin Love out of action last year. He didn't have that huge of an impact on the game. This year, he's playing better than ever. You know, he's looked great throughout the playoffs. He's ready for his time to shine in the playoffs to put up that 18, 20, 22 points to help this team win. And they need him because if they don't get contributions from him, they won't win. They need all three of those big three to be firing on all cylinders, playing their best basketball. The Cavs need more to go right for them than the Warriors. But I do think that more will go right for the Cavs than the Warriors. The Warriors will just ultimately have too much talent. The reason I say that is because Steph Curry hasn't proved to be the super solid guy in the NBA Finals. We've seen a few shaky performances from Steph Curry over the over the last two years. And Kevin Durant, man, we have no idea what we're going to see from Kevin Durant in the NBA Finals. You know, you could think he's going to have a great Finals, but he might struggle. Big moments haven't been too kind to him over the last few years. Last playoffs, you know how he went out. You know, I wonder if, you know, you get into a tough spot and this team's on the verge of elimination. Is Kevin Durant going to give up? He's going to stop trying? Is he just going to stop hitting his shots? I know he's going to keep shooting, but is he going to hit those shots? It's hard to say. Steph Curry and Kevin Durant, you need Steph Curry to get going and you need at least one of those guys to get going. Draymond Green is going to do his thing. He's going to be huge in the defensive end. He's going to facilitate the offense. He's going to be the impact player that he is, but... Another guy that's, you know, kind of like the Kevin Love thing for the Cavs, Klay Thompson for the Golden State Warriors. He's had a real, real tough playoffs. As opposed to last year, he was really good throughout. I mean, he had some huge games in the conference finals last year. But throughout, you know, the playoffs, and the Warriors have been winning all these games, but he hasn't shot well. And a lot of people are wondering, is that gonna, is there going to be an impact there? Is this slump going to continue into the finals? Because really, Klay Thompson could hit eight threes in game one, and we just forget. We would just be, oh, uh, yeah. He's on, he, he's back now, you know, there, there's no, like, but if he comes in and he scores like 12 points and he shoots 4 or 14, then, you know, we got something to worry about, especially if they lose that game. Even if they win that game, it's like, okay, well, are we going to see this Clay for the rest of the finals? Because we're going to need Clay to step in there, you know, at some point. So that's going to be interesting to see. But Clay's such a good shooter. And it's so hard to see a guy like that, like, slump like this. It's just weird because you don't expect that at all. You expect with Clay's wide open, you expect him to drain it every time. Um, So I think think he's going to have, I don't know if he's going to be great. I think he's going to put up like 15 to 20 a night. Um, But I mean, there's a lot of points to go around between all these players on Golden State. I do think the Golden State Warriors will win this series. Yes, I said in six games. Do I want that to happen? Absolutely not. I want the Cavs. I bet on the Warriors, though. Um, so if the, if they win, I'm going to have to, if the Cavs win, I'm going to have to pay some money, but I'm going to ultimately be happier. Um, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Comment down below who you think is going to win the NBA finals. Who's going to be finals MVP. I forgot to talk about that. Finals MVP. I think it's going to be, hmm, probably, uh, Steph Curry. I think Steph Curry will be finals MVP because I don't know if Kevin, I don't think Kevin Durant's going to have a huge series. I think Curry's going to end up being the best, um, in this series. I think he's going to have some huge games. I think, you know, he's been here two times now. I mean, this is his third time in the finals in a row. He's ready to be, you know, his MVP self. Kevin Durant, like, I don't really know what he's about. I don't really know if he wants this or, you know, if he's going to be, have that clutch gene be locked in. So we're going to have to see with that. Um, comment down below who you guys think is going to win this series and how many games, who's the finals MVP, um, who, what player is going to hold back their team? Is Klay Thompson going to have a real tough series? Is Kevin Love going to have a real tough series? What do you guys think? Let me know down below. And that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and idea down below. Subscribe if you are new. And I'm out. Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.